Talk about your start of your year. Um, Memphis game had a pretty big game, it seemed like. Yeah, pretty big, but you still got to come out with a win in the end. So just working on my craft, working on being a better defense, working on not giving up so many points, stopping, you know, stopping the team at the end. They're a pretty good team, so we got to do a better job. But, you know, I'm proud of what we did, but we still got a long way to go. What's the, what's the difference in the three-man front and the four as far as your position? Um, just really, I mean, I play multiple positions, so it's just stay in there, stay stout, anything you got to do um, to stop the run, you know, affect the pass at the same time. So, you know, as a collective, as a defense, we definitely want to do our best job just being in the right place, playing the time of football, and being physical and taking the ball away. So we're just trying to do that every week. Even despite the result, you guys tackled a lot better, particularly in space. Was that gratifying to kind of see some results there? Yeah, I mean, of course, it's always nice to see uh, progress, but, you know, you want to see the end goal games like that. You got to pull it out at the end. You know, you just can't. You can't. You can't let them one slip through your fingers. So we definitely got to do a better job this week. Josiah, do you remember much about last year's game in particular with Keen Boyd and, and the first half he had against you guys? Uh, yeah, but you know we're a different team now, so we're just worrying about being the best team, tackling well, being physical, taking the ball away. You know they're a great offense. You know they got great coaches, so we definitely got a game plan. Extra hard to start the SEC opener, so we definitely got to do a better job than we did last year. And the feeling in the locker room coming off the week one loss going into Arkansas this week? I mean, you know, we still we know we got a lot of talent. You know, there's no room to do points, fingers. We all know we got to do better because defense was, you know, as equipped last year as we should have been. The offense was, you know, the offense is young. We got a great coordinator. We got a great quarterback, great running back, great offensive line receiver. So we definitely have faith in our offense. We're not that type of team to crumble over one little situation. We know we got to do better as a defense, you know, to give them the ball back and give them a chance to score. So. Definitely want to do better as a team. You know, this is a team game. We can't win with just one side of the ball. Does much change for you guys as a line facing a team that might feature two quarterbacks? Um, no, not really. We know we just got to do. If we play our assignment, we'll be we'll be where we need to be as a team. Um, just just everything overall. You know, assignment football. You know, tackling well and you know doing our read, doing what we got to do, taking the ball away. Definitely changes the game for defense. We're in the process of becoming. Trying to go from an OK defense to a really good defense. And we know we got to do certain things. Uh, filling the passes like red zone defense, we definitely got to do better with that. Do you have a preference between defense being or, or no? No, I don't. It's just, you know, whatever helps the team win, you know, I can play both. You know, it's, it's all about winning. So what's the difference? Stops. Um, you know, nose, you just be a little bit more stout. Uh, and you get a little bit more, you know, it's more one sided. So if you don't get it to your side, you know, there's a lot more running. Like last week, I had to do a lot more running than I'm used to because, well, I mean, to be honest, if I play both positions, you're gonna have to run. You want to make plays, you gotta run. So definitely just pursuing the ball, bursting, doing what we gotta do to be a great defense. Do you like this three-four versus a four-man front? I mean, it's good. I like both. You know, there's both. There's pros and cons to both of them, and definitely we got great coordinators, great coaches. You know, they're definitely able to adapt no matter what the situation is. Do y'all rotate more up front now? Oh yeah, we worked that a lot more. We got a lot. We got a lot of depth on D line, so we're definitely using everything we got. Do you think that helps y'all to play fresher? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Some young guys stepped up, you know, from last year's red shirt. You know, came in and stepped up like Quinn Bivens. You know, he definitely did a good job when he got in the game. Got a half sack. Ryder Anderson, he's starting now, so he's doing a good job. Just having that many guys and then have some leadership up there definitely does a good job for the having defense, have a you know feature D line like that.